Especially when she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Hello, my darlings How are you all doing? Hope you've had a great weekend What is going Oh, bloody hell, my bin's over the road Oh, shit, you know I'm going to have to go and get that Hang on That's how windy it's been here My bin is on the other side of the road Just put my handbrake on One sec Wow, <laughs> look at my hair! <laughs> God, it's so windy! <sighs> Move to Wales, they said. It'll be beautiful, they said. <laughs> well, they bloody lied. Wow, anyway, what was I saying? I hope you're all okay and I've had a good weekend. Yeah, the weather is shocking we've got some kind of storm passing over wales so yeah that's fun anyway <laughs> if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is max and i upload videos three times a week and i do all sorts of things including hauls fashion try-ons beauty get ready with me vlogs cooking cleaning a little bit of everything lifestyle so if that's your cup of tea then please click that little red button down below and subscribe to my channel and join my little youtube family and to all of my little family who keep coming back to watch me thank you so much i really do appreciate it so on the agenda today i am just off to run a couple of errands i've got a vintage parcel to post i've got some forms to take to the post office um and i need to go and get some bread i don't need anything else apart from bread it's raining now sun was shining just bloody hell uh yeah so just a, a vloggy vlog with yours truly, bit of pottering, got to change my bed, got some washing to put away, the usual, this van is right up my backside. take me on these windy lanes. What a prick. Now I've said it. <laughs> yeah, so just a normal vloggy vlog from me. Um, I'm just wondering if there's anything else that I've got to inform you about that I catch you up on. Oh, I've had my appointment come through for my physiotherapy on the back. So I've got that. I think that's uh, Monday. And then my dentist to get my veneer sorted. Yeah, what was I saying? It's all right, this driver behind me is really pissing me right off. I swear, you know, sometimes I see a woman in a car on the road and they think that they can uh, intimidate you. Yeah, so I got the dentist for my second scrape and polish and to get my veneer um, sized up and then I just had to go back and get that fitted and then that's my teeth sorted. Uh, yeah, just give you a little update on my mum as well. Um, she's not doing good. She um, has took a turn for the worst. Uh, it's quite difficult to talk about really, you know, it's sad, it's very, very sad and it's heartbreaking, but my mum is in so much pain and she can't communicate that is in pain. She's got this cancer on her leg 
that started off quite small and it's, uh, is it a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma or something like that? It started off quite small, she had it looked at and they said, you know, there's no point in operating with her being in the state that she is. Um, it wasn't life-threatening, so, you know, it was just left. It wasn't malignant, it was just like, yeah, non-invasive basically well as time's gone on this cancer is now huge huge and it's gone it was on her inner thigh so it's gone all down the front of her thigh now down towards a shin and up into a groin so she's now not mobile at all she is um, very distressed she's refusing her medication she won't let anybody go near her she's in pain uh, so the doctor of the care home rang me yesterday and basically she's now on um, end of life care breaks my heart because when people have got dementia not only has she got dementia so we lost her to that uh, we're now going to lose her physically the physical body so it's twice the grieving oh my god the weather can you go see this Oh dear me. Anyway, yeah, so um it's just the way it's in game now basically. And you know what? My mum has suffered long enough with this dementia and I just want her to be at peace and out of pain all my days. Yeah, I just wanted to be out of pain and at peace wherever you go when you, you pass. I just wanted to be there and be peaceful. I know it sounds awful, but I hope you guys understand that I know a lot of you have had family members who have got or have passed with dementia and Alzheimer's and it is absolutely soul destroying. It's the cruelest of diseases. So yeah, that's um, going on in the background. But I do try to keep positive. It, it, you know, it is my mantra in life, positive mental attitude. These things we cannot do anything about. You know, they're out of our control. And I just wanted to be out of pain, basically. But I just thought I'd update you on the situation with Mom. Um, and I think that is about everything. Stop raining now! I tell you what, talk about freak weather. Yeah, so I think that's about everything I've got to update you on. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. I am going to be putting uh, the last few bits that I've got up on Vinted this afternoon. So it's Friday today. You'll be seeing this on Monday. So I shall vlog all weekend. Um, you know, anything that I get up to around the house. It's not going to be anything in the garden. As much as I'd love to be out in the garden, pegging me washing out and tidying up that's just not going to happen at all not this weekend anyway we was going to go up the boat yard um, my dad's gone up he called in yesterday and uh, asked if we was going to go up and I said to him there's no way that I'm going up the boat yard to swap caravans over in the rain 
because it's just going to make a mess all over the new caravan floor we're going to be soaked i'm going to be miserable because i hate the rain so yeah we we're not going to go until the weather gets a little bit better i ain't bothered whether it's um warm i just want it to be dry so we can get up there and do something and then once we've done that i think um we're going to try and get away in the motorhome for a few days which i'm really looking forward to going and exploring but again you know we want to wait for the the weather to break a little bit there we go we're at the shop to drop off the parcel so yeah i'll um i'll see you all when i get back home okay see you in a bit i am sweaty <laughs> It's gone really warm. I don't know whether it's just me and my age or what, but it feels really warm. Anyway, I'm back and I've got a few bits from Tesco, so I just thought I'd share them with you. But I've put the frozen away because I've just had something to eat. So let me just get the frozen and I'll show you what I've got and then I can get it back in. I've got my glasses so I can see the, um, <laughs> the receipt. Some things I can remember the prices. So we got a tiger loaf a sliced one but it was reduced from 150 to 69 pence and we've just ate half of it with some chicken stew so yeah we've had our lunch well it's nearly tea time four o'clock and i also got two tesco white loaves 75 pence i got a chicago town Cheesy ham and bacon, tiger crust pizza. I haven't had one for ages and I just fancied one. And this was on offer for £2. And I got some frozen veg because I used quite a bit at the weekend, last weekend. So I got some um, Brussels sprouts. And the sprouts were £1.10. Some broad beans. Les loves these. And I haven't seen them in there for ages. So I got some broad beans. And the broad beans were £1.60 for the broad beans. Look at the state of me. I've got to dye my hair. We'll be doing that together in this video. And some garden peas. They were 99 pence. So I'm just going to pop this frozen back in the freezer. I also got a tray of Coke. And this is caffeine free and um, zero sugar as well. So I'm just going to try one, because I've never tried this before. Just tastes like normal. Zero sugar, but now caffeine. And the tray was 24 cans for £7.50. As I say, I did get a lot, really. So just this bag and, well, and the other bag that I've just emptied. Uh, I got my um, liquid for my vape, you know, my puffer. Got three, four of those. There's the other loaf. I also got this um, vintage cheddar boule. Me and Les, Les love this. I don't know whether it's boule or boule. Uh, £1.58 from £2.25. So we'll have that for our like supper now because we won't eat till later on. Uh, probably have that with some boiled ham on or something like that. I got Les some hot cross buns because he absolutely loves these ones. He didn't like the ones from Morrison's. He likes them with the because it them like sticky on the top. And the hot cross buns were ninety nine pence. And I grabbed these for me, these uh, maple and pecan plats, and they was reduced from one pound sixty to ninety pence. So I'm going to have those with a cup of coffee in a minute. I've got some Cathedral City cheese. Oh, that coax give me the burps now. And the Cathedral City was on offer. Uh, that's the extra mature. I really like that one. And it was, you know that Tiger pizza, Tiger crust pizza should have been £3.50. There's no way I would ever pay that. Uh, £2.75 for the cheese. So that was on offer. I also got Les some blue cheese because he really likes a bit of blue cheese and this is a Saint Agur one and that was on offer as well. 
that was £2.40. That should have been three quid. It's ridiculous, eh? I also picked up some more Italian seasoning, that was a pound. I've got Les a bottle of the Jersey milk, he really likes this, and that's £1.35. I've got two bags of red potatoes, and they were £1.50 per bag. And I also got some Pringles because these were on offer and these were yeah, in my mouth. <laughs> £1.50 a tub. So I got a couple of Pringles because I like a little munch when I'm in bed at night watching the telly. And then I've got three packs of cream eggs because they had all been reduced to £1.12 per pack. And then the last thing that I picked up was this, this little cake stand, is it? Cake stand? Let me see what it says on the receipt, what it calls it. Yeah, a cake stand, but I'm going to use it for my summer decor on my hallway table. I've got to get my Easter decor down so you know we can do that together and I can redo my table in the hallway. I'm waiting for some bits to come from Timu so we can do that together if it comes over the weekend. And this beautiful cake stand was reduced from £12 to £6. How gorgeous is that? It's really nice, isn't it? So yeah, that's everything that I got from Tesco's today. Oh, I did buy a skirt the other day when I was there. Let me just go and get it and I'll show it you. I got this skirt in the sale the other day. Um, it's a size 16 and it's so nice. It's like um, a wrap out, a faux wrap with a split detail there and then this ties up and it's got the cargo pockets on the side. How gorgeous is that? And this was reduced from £22.50 to £9. I'll just show you. Can you see? £9 and it should have been £22.50 and I thought that would look really nice with like a top like this, a white top and some white trainers, some white chunky trainers or white pumps, how nice and you could even dress that up with a nice pair of heels and a nice top as well, really really likey and I also got, hang on one second, them in the wash so I'm just going to grab them out the washing basket to show you. <laughs> Do you remember the um, pink pyjamas that I got when they had the 25% off uh, everything in the store. Well, they got 25% off when I went in. So I got them in the baby blue. They are so nice. And I've already worn them, as I say. They've, I've just pulled these out of the washing basket to show you. But they've got uh, pink, black, and the baby blue. So I've got the pink and the baby blue now, but they are so nice and so comfortable, but they need washing now. So that is my little haul for today. Um, if anything else comes, oh, I've got my beauty box to show you and I'll show you that as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna put this washing, uh, washing, shopping away now and wash up and put the, the washing up away and do the next lot and just tidy round and then I'm probably just going to chill for the rest of the night now and uh, yeah I'll get my clean on tomorrow and we'll spend the weekend together um, doing my hair and doing a bit of cleaning and stuff okay so I'll see ya it'll be like that for you but yeah it'll be 24 hours for me <laughs> so I'll see ya in a little while okay it's now Sunday <laughs> I didn't do a tap yesterday, Saturday, um, yeah, just had a really chilled one. I weren't feeling the best, to be honest. I think I got a cold coming. I had a rotten headache, I couldn't stop sneezing. So, yeah, I just chilled yesterday. But it's now Sunday, so Sunday reset. Um, but what I'm going to do, like, to finish this vlog off, I've already stripped the bed, so we'll change the bed together and, you know, wipe the bedside tables over and stuff, take the over around. And then uh, I'll probably call it a day for this vlog then. And then in the next vlog, um, I will carry on filming. It'll probably be the same day. But I'm taking the Easter decor down and stuff. I will take the one from behind the bed. Um, 
but to be honest I haven't got a box to put all the stuff in at the minute because the box that I took it out of we've used for something else so yeah <laughs> um I'm gonna get in the garage and find a box and yeah that'll be in the next the next vlog and dyeing my hair as well will be in the next vlog I mean do you really need to see me dyeing my hair? It's not really that interesting, is it? So I might not even include that. I might just do it and, yeah, we'll see. But for now, uh, I'm going to show you my beauty box and uh, sort the bed out and do a bit of cleaning. But before I show you that, I've been sent another bag. <laughs> oh, no. I can't help it. Um, but it's from a company called Any Fashion. Now, I haven't worked with this company before, but they messaged me and asked me if I'd like to choose something from the website. And I chose a Chanel Le Boy bag. And it is absolutely beautiful. I'll leave all the links down in the description, as I always do, if you fancy going and have a look on the website. They have got some really, really nice stuff. I know I say it all the time, um, but... Yeah, they have. They've got some beautiful stuff on that website. Uh, bags, jewellery, shoes, uh, trainers, sunglasses, accessories, stuff like that. They've got everything and very competitively priced as well. So it comes in this beautiful magnetic Chanel box. You get the Chanel ribbon. You even get the little Chanel flower look so you know if you want to send something as a gift this is what you get with the chanel ribbon all the paperwork that's needed with this um even a little envelope with a you know a card for the date of purchase and stuff like that and the receipt and also the chanel wrapping paper to put around the bag it's really really nicely presented and then this is what the bag looks like. It comes in this lovely Chanel dust bag. And I went for a white bag this time because I've only got one white bag. So I thought I'd go for a white one. And this is it. Oh, uh, beautiful. I love the Le Boy. It's not too big. It's not too small. There's plenty of room in here for everything. And this is the handle. So it's got a long handle with the gold hardware and the white leather entwined through it. This is what it looks like. And it's got a little charm here that says Chanel 5. Chanel 5 Paris, does it say? Yeah, Chanel 5 Paris. It's in the quilted design. It's got the Chanel logo on the front, as I say, all gold hardware. This is a pocket that opens up and it's got plenty of room in there for your phone. Your phone would definitely fit in there or your cards a bit of cash and then it's also got a back pocket with a prestard that again you found would probably fit into and then into well i suppose it depends what size found you've got really and then inside it's got like a pocket here i've left the stuffing in there it's got a pocket here it's also got a zip pocket here with the chanel logo let me just take the stuffing out so you can see and that's what it looks like inside. So it's quite a decent size, to be fair. And it's from the Le Boy series. And they've got all different colours in this as well and different sizes. It's absolutely stunning. Really, really nice. Very um, in keeping for spring and summer, I thought. And as I say, I've only got one other white bag. So now I've got two, you know, so I can interchange them. But yeah, thank you, Any Fashion, for sending me this beautiful bag. It's really kind of you, and I absolutely love it. So yeah, if you want to go and check them out, my darlings, I'll leave all the links down below, okay? So let me show you this month's um, Look Fantastic box. Now, I've cancelled Rockerbox, and I've got to carry on with Look Fantastic until my subscription runs out. I think it's about August, September, something like that. So this is what's in the box this month. It's quite a decent box, to be fair. There's an Elemis product, and it's the Pro Collagen Energising Marine Cleanser. So, yeah, definitely get some use out of that. I love Elemis products, as you know. And then this is the Rituals of Sakura. And it's the Magic Touch Body Cream. 
so you get that in there as well there's also a little tester of um alien from Moogla and it's Hylian Hylian <laughs> Hylian Hypersense I haven't smelt this one before but I've already got perfume on so I'm not going to spray it but I'll, I'll keep all these little testers for when I'm travelling or going on holiday or anything like that so that's a little Alien tester there's also this from uh, We Are Paradox and it's a volume spray for your hair now I have tried this and it's really good. It does lift the roots and give you a bit of volume in your hair. Like that. There's also a Glow uh, Picture Perfect Makeup Sponge. Little sponge. Shall we get it out and have a look at that? See whether uh, it's nice and squidgy. That's what it looks like. Oh yeah, it's lovely and soft. Love a makeup sponge. Then there is this from Ciarte and it's the Velvet Skin Cream Blush, just a little one, uh, I can't even see what shade that says, Fancy, I think it says Fancy, the shade Fancy, oh Fancy, <laughs> and it's only, it's only a small one but I would imagine, you know, a little bit goes quite a long way, so yeah, a little liquid blush, love a liquid blush. And then the last thing is this uh, Beauty Pro Squalene Nourishing Sheet Mask, which I am going to put on tonight uh, while my colour is setting on my hair. So I'm going to have a little pamper evening. So yeah, dry my hair, sheet mask, you know, nice skincare. I might even film it actually, I'll say. I probably will, you know, like a little pamper evening. So yeah, that's everything that was in the Look Fantastic box this month. And to be fair, there's some nice bits in there. I'm quite impressed. So, that's that all out the way. And I am now going to get on and make the bed. Uh, get the uh, Easter garland from off the back. Because I've got some um, summer one. I've got a summer one coming from Timo. That should be here sometime this week, so you'll, there'll be a team move all. Um, so I'm just going to get the egg one out of there and make the beds, do the bedside tables, take the oeuvre around, and then that'll probably be it for this vlog, okay? So let's get going. Usually I don't post. Usually I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull a drop top. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah We've been keeping it in the house Netflix and chillin', a GDM in, yeah Didn't wanna share my love Till I found someone I'm sure of Young and untamed I've been out of range, keeping it low But I wanna be bold with it Don't care what we told about it Wow, well, baby, got a hold on it Don't let love unfold tonight They'll be calling us gold no But I never let him catch me No, I never let him claim me Wild thing, try to tame me But you got my mood on sunshine Let's take a trip Souls on big smile Let's hit this lake Stars are in line I'm supposed to lay with me in the moonlight I wanna be bold with it Don't care what we told about it Wow, baby, got a hold on it Don't let love unfold tonight They'll be calling us gold No lie
Cause you're all that I want, could you let me in? The last drink was the last drink But I don't wanna leave I wanna get closer Don't want this night to be over I wanna get closer, it's not over Yeah, we could go back to my place Cause I don't wanna waste no precious time So let's go back to my place If it's only for tonight out of breath <laughs> right that's this space nice and clean and tidy and smelling fresh I've uh, de-eastered in here however I have left the bunny on the bed and I've also left a bunny on the TV unit here um, because I like the bunnies and it's spring bunnies aren't just for Easter <laughs> just like puppies aren't just for Christmas Anyway, yeah, I've got a few bits and pieces to put away, so once I've finished walking in and out, I'll leave it, like, down to the door. So, I'm going to call it a day now, my, darling, for, my darlings, for this vlog. I think it'll be plenty long enough, but there will be another one coming. Um, I will carry on filming. I'm going to go and have a coffee and sit down for five minutes. I have to keep resting my back. Uh, in between jobs so yeah um, but I will carry on filming whatever I, I get up to so I do hope you've enjoyed this little vlog if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it would be great to have you in my little YouTube community um, yeah thanks for stopping by and spending some time with me today I love you guys loads and I will see you all in the next one I love you bye Oh, I forgot to do it. Les said to me the other day, you forgot to do your tarara beat. Tarara beat! <laughs> See ya!